classroom conversation of Sue Overlord began. Seriously speaking, your teasing is too weak. This time, the enemy swallow the hell flower. Their mental state is not clear. They just crazily rushed in to attack you. So you have to learn a few more curse words. That way, for normal people, teasing will be effective. You don't even know the basics, and yet you want to scold others. The fat man sighed. Is this still not enough? What else do I need to learn? He turned to the skinny martial king. And you, skinny one, your rotation is not powerful enough. At least you have to rotate enough to emit a spark. The skinny man puzzled. Do I need a spark? Do I need to add a fire attribute? The fat man crossed his arms. Understood, we will definitely improve. The skinny man confidently said, both of us already have attack skills. This is the intuition from spending money on food at Mount Great King. It's just a bit expensive, but everything else is fine. Sumu ordered, hand daping, clean up this place. These two dig a grave and bury in a bit far from Mount Great King. Hand daping side, another big pit. Just finished leveling the pit caused by Mr. Zhao's explosion. Hand daping had to sigh. Overlord, can we stay away from the sect a bit during the fight in the future? The next day in Liang Cheng, at the District King's Palace, Su Wu asked, Should we go to the Zhongju Academy? Tang Xiao replied, Yes, the District King's Palace has arranged it very suddenly. But the martial arts talent of the county princess is quite normal. Going there may improve it. Liang Cheng is just a normal place anyway. He thought to himself, Is it too late for county princess to start studying now? And being a grandmaster is just normal. I still haven't escaped the title of a newcomer. Why did they suddenly harvest so many spiritual rice plants? Won't they have to stay there for a few years? Or bring the stuff there and come back? Tang Xiao answered, Stay there for a year before coming back, taking turns. Anyway, our mother is also at the district king's palace. So if it's Zhang Zhao, that's fine. Tang Xiao will wait a bit. After finishing speaking, his figure was nowhere to be seen. Tang Xiao was puzzled. Do you want go to the bathroom? But the bathroom is at the other end. A moment later, Su Wu turned back. Give it to me. Tang Xiao asked. What is this? A cloth bag. He explained. This bag contains many spiritual lines inside the mountain. Ten bottles of body-enhancing elixir. Five bottles of healing elixir. And spiritual power level two. It can detoxify and completely heal injuries. Spiritual power and body at level three. If used sparingly, even martial kings can be cured as long as it's not a rare poison. Tang Xiao laughed. Kid, you don't need to explain. It's meaningful enough. I'm not a stranger to you. Su Mu laughed along. Of course, we're in this together. He hesitated. By the way, did you not prepare anything for County Princess? Su Mu asked back. What do you mean? He draped his arm over Su Wu's shoulder. What are you thinking in your heart? I don't even know. You must have heard that County Princess has to leave, deliberately pretending not to know. Otherwise, why did you come today? Normally, isn't it Bai Zi Long who delivers everything? County Princess hasn't returned for years. Why did you go to see her? He hesitated. Oh, I. I really didn't mean that. I was just following the path. Let's see what happens to the Lin and Liu families. That's why I left the sect to deliver goods. I really don't know anything. I just stay at home all day. Tang Chiao dragged him away. I understand now. Even though you are unworthy, you can consider yourself leaving the district king's palace. If the county princess wants to go, you should escort her. He worried. Don't pull. Don't drag me. Oh my, when I left the district king's palace, Tang Xiao stopped me, brought me in, and now again, boss, give me some face. Chen Lang quietly observed from a distance. Su Wu, Tang Xiao, haha, this time you will definitely pay. At the gate, Tang Xiao shouted loudly, County Princess Su Wu is looking for someone. He was confused. Boss, don't push me to go. Tang Xiao encouraged Su Wu, keep going. Su Wu whispered, Keep going. Should I say one more thing, okay? He laughed and turned around, scratching his head and pretending to be calm. Well, County Princess, why didn't you inform me that you wanted to study, ha? Huh? Jai Yun wondered, Why did he come? And why did my father arrange it so suddenly? I only found out a few days ago. He took out a bag. Well, I heard you have to leave, so I prepared some things. If you don't mind, you can take them with you. You might need them on the way. Xiao Ru took the bag. 
Wow, it's the spiritual line from Mount Great King. Sue Overlord is so generous. He pretended. Everyone here is an old acquaintance, so why not? It's just that the spiritual line is limited, so I can't bring too much. Xiao Ru smiled knowingly. Are you trying to hint at something with our county princess? I think Su Overlord and County Princess make a great pair. Sumu worriedly thought, Oh no, I really didn't mean anything by it. Xiao Ru, please don't speak recklessly. District King's Palace used to be my host, I'm just... Jai Yun blushed. Thank you, Su Overlord, but I already have someone in my heart. He quickly explained, County Princess, please don't misunderstand. I just gave you some water bottles, that's all. Tang Xiao pushed me into the sky. What does she mean by that? The lady politely bowed. I already have someone in my heart. Therefore, I am grateful for Su Overlord's kind intentions, but we cannot be together. He whispered to himself, What? I have a vulgar saying. Not sure if I should say it. What does this sentence mean? I have presented the gifts, wishing County Princess a smooth journey. There is still something for me to attend to on the mountain. Xiao Ru called out, Hey, Su Overlord, County Princess just spoke her mind a bit. Is there a need to be angry like this, Sai? County Princess is really, speaking so bluntly can really hurt someone. Even though they have good intentions, how can we? Jai Yun spoke up. Chiao Ru, I understand everything you think. But in my heart, there is only Xiao, so I can't let Xiao misunderstand. Jai Yun sadly said, Although Su Overlord is very talented and gave such valuable gifts, his talent is high. Xiao Ru thought to himself, Rejecting someone and not returning the gift, even though using martial arts painting as a gift, it is just taking the rejected person's gift and giving it to another rejected person. This action is really something that is endem of fruit. If it were me, I would definitely not return it. Xiao Ru said, Indeed, Mr. Wang's five excellent products of spirit marrow are much better than our county princess's martial artist, Xiao. She must reconsider her decision. She affirmed, There is no place for anyone else in my heart, especially not Xiao. How can our relationship work? If I don't clarify things with Su Wu, he will continue to misunderstand, so it's better to be straightforward. He muttered as he walked. Damn it, I have nothing to do today. Why did I come to the District King's Palace? She followed him and said, I can only say that Su Overlord is a good person. Outside, Su Wu felt regretful. My spiritual world is in danger. Wife, what kind of person is she? Good intentions are seen as schemes. Why do I always encounter such strange women? Bai Xinlong thought. No, Xiao Xiao hasn't been picking on me lately. I have to do something to get her attention. Su Mu thought. Xiao Xiao is not ordinary either. A girl who dares to follow me to the mountain, not afraid of being sold by me. Not to mention she is still young. I haven't reached that level yet. Xiao Xiao said, Mao Mao, don't move. The illness will be over soon. Su Mu thought. Moreover, it seems like she has something with Bai Zi Long. I just see her as a little sister. Nalan Yun Yan and Xiao Hu Hu are a couple. Moreover, they are Saintess martial artists. She wondered, can the secret technique be used for cooking? What new dish to make today? Hu Hu vowed to himself, to Mount Great King, not yet cultivated to martial saint. Even if killed, I won't return, but must be quick, or else afraid Su Overlord will catch Yun Yan. He sighed, can actively help break the fiance's leg. That mind is not normal. County princess, even if you don't like me, you don't need to say it straight to my face. Xiao Ru exclaimed, the last few glasses, our water. Jai Yun angrily said, Xiao Ru, leave some for me, don't drink it all. Su Wu was annoyed. Although I don't like her, rejecting in front is very offensive. Moreover, she is self-loving, does she know? Shai Shi made a promise. Three years. Wait for me three years. He secretly thought. Lang Shai Shai is crazy. When will I ever get a female lead? It's so difficult to transmigrate once. Why does it feel like it's going to continue like this? I'll be lonely forever. I don't expect anything from the harem. Just a normal mind is enough, not a high demand. Suddenly someone called out loudly. Su Overlord. Su Wu turned to look. Oh, fat man, skinny man, here you are. The skinny man on horseback supervised, have you checked the houses, found anything? He hesitated. So the fate of the Lin and Liu families is to be exterminated. The fat man replied, if not beheaded, then exiled, 
Find out about the hundreds of hell flowers being nurtured in those two houses. The skinny man added, This crime is very serious. He stammered, Oh, it's a crime to grow hell flowers. Right. Has the mastermind behind been identified? The fat man shook his head. No leads yet. The skinny man continued. But according to them, the mastermind has sent assassins to assassinate the third princess in the Lu Yun Mountains. Su Wu was puzzled. Who is the third princess? I've never heard of her. Our empire only knows of two princes. Where did a princess come from? The skinny man agreed. We have never heard of it before. The cautious fat man said, but we must go back to the mansion to ask for instructions first. Anyway, the matter of the hell flower is the most important at the moment. If we have to go for help, we must send troops. If it was just the two of us last night, we wouldn't be able to resist. The skinny man agreed. Yes, that's right. Su Wu thought to himself. Don't say that the two of us are not rational when facing a martial king early stage group, who wouldn't be afraid. The skinny man waved goodbye. No more talking. We have to set off. The fat man bid farewell. If you have free time, come to the general's mansion. Su Wu replied. Okay. Su Wu thought. Sigh, look at the tall buildings, then they collapse. What's the point? Su Wu said, County princess has left. The county king is at the border. The Lin and Liu families have been confiscated. All the martial arts experts have disappeared. The Bei family. Nalan family all rely on our Mount Great King. Now it seems that the top power in Dongju County is Liang Cheng, getting closer to the goal of making Mount Great King the famous sanctuary of the world system. But only Liang Cheng. The goal is still far and distant. Keep trying. At Mount Great King, someone said, you guys really know how to play. Everyone rushed over. Let us handle it, it's too oppressive. Su Wu stood with folded arms beside, using martial arts to fan the machine. You guys are strong. Xiao Xiao approached and called out, Su Wu. He asked, What's wrong, Xiao Xiao? She continued, The scent of this martial arts painting is somewhat similar to the remaining battle scent of the two from yesterday. Chen Yi affirmed, That's right. Su Overlord, Xiao Xiao Master Uncle, and I intentionally went to the battle area last night to smell it. It is indeed the same scent. He was surprised. Really? Hand daping handed over something. Su Overlord here. Chen Yi confidently said, Both Xiao Xiao Master Uncle and I are master pill refiners. Smelling scents is our instinct. Su Wu analyzed. The same scent. The painting was taken out by Mu Zi Ling but the real owner is Shang Lang Wang Zhe. What relationship do those two have with Shang Lang Wang Zhe? I can't smell anything special. No, if the scents are similar, it could just be that they all came into contact with the hellflower, the two Lins and Leus sent by Shang Lang Wang Zhe. Hand Daping was surprised. Is Shang Lang Wang Zhe the great man? Is the hellflower related to him? Tai Ni was shocked. Is he the mastermind behind this? He clenched his fists. This is a big deal. The son of another prince is the mastermind behind the planting of the hellflower that the empire banned. What does he want? Nalan chimed in. It seems like we are caught up in a very gruesome affair. He ordered, hand daping, immediately write a letter to the general's mansion. No, go on a direct trip. This cannot be written in a letter. It must be said directly to those two skinny gentlemen. Hand daping immediately turned around. All right, I will depart immediately. He added, Furthermore, the great man has sent someone to escort the third princess at the Lu Yun Mountains. And that great man is Shang Lang Wang Zhe. Ask them when they will march. Do they need our help? Although we don't know who the third princess is. Han Daping interjected, Wait, Su Overlord, is that third princess the county princess? Su Wu was astonished. What are you saying? County princess is the third princess. Daping sighed. The two princes of the empire were always targeted for assassination. So after the emperor was happy to have a daughter, he secretly sent Cho County King to avoid assassination. He felt conflicted. This is not right. We have never heard of this before. Didn't the emperor only have two princes? How does he know about the third princess? He proudly said. Before, he was considered a bit higher in the spiritual medicine realm among the county kings. He went to Mr. Zhao several times to ask for medicine to improve the martial arts talent of the county princess. Before, didn't we take care of Mr. Zhao's courtyard and heard this secret accidentally? 
Chen Yi still felt something was off. This doesn't seem right. According to this story, shouldn't we kill to keep it a secret? Nalan agreed. That's right. Xiao Xiao was curious. When did you hear about it? He tried to remember. It was probably that morning when I took over Lord and Xiao Xiao to Zhao's yard. Wait, there was something not right. Xiao Xiao interrupted. Yes, that day the teacher said we must kill a treacherous person who doesn't know the difference between life and death, planning against our disciple. Nalan was surprised. Is there also this matter? Daping muttered. If it weren't for Miss Xiao Xiao and Overlord's extraordinary talent, Mr. Zhao would have been too happy and forgotten about this matter. If you hadn't approved, this girl would have been my disciple. Furthermore, I would have to kill that villain who doesn't know life or death, plotting against my disciple. Yes, if he didn't hate me, maybe he would speak honestly. I wouldn't force the spiritual medicine from this girl. Otherwise, I would have been destroyed by Mr. Zhao at any time. Anyway, in the eyes of a martial saint, a good disciple is more important than a princess from the royal family. Embracing Su Overlord is truly amazing. Overlord seeks protection. Hand daping is blind for life. But the most enlightening thing I've ever done is following you. Su Wu kicked him. Get lost. That day, it was clear that you wanted to harm us. Wait, you're off topic. Isn't County Princess dangerous already? Daping pondered. I used to worry. What if Sue Overlord noticed County Princess? The identity of County Princess is too troublesome. Chao Xiao speculated. Su Wu indeed liked County Princess. He remembered. Also, Tang Chao is also coming along. Tin Yi admitted, yes. The two martial kings said that there must be someone supplying information at the District King's Palace. Furthermore, if the invaders are all experts like yesterday, Nalan worried. In addition, the two martial kings said they will go to the general's mansion to ask for instructions. Su Wu immediately walked away. Wait for them to ask for instructions and send soldiers. By the time they arrive, our Tang Chao's body will be cold. Never mind. I have to go save him. Everyone followed. Su Overlord, take this map to the Lu Yun Mountains. He agreed. Okay, I will go down the mountain first. You all stay here. Han Daping quickly informed the general's mansion. Tell our assumptions to the two martial kings and Mr. Zhao. I will go first. She replied, I obey. At the Devil Beast Forest at night, Su Wu stopped to rest by the fire. This road has a lot of demonic beasts. Their attributes have also increased. This is good, but... He focused on the map. Why is Nalan's map still as confusing as ever? What, if I believe in her map again? I'll be in big trouble. He threw the map away. Is this even a map? I'm lost again. It's been three days, and I still haven't found anyone to ask for directions. I might lose my way. Tang Xiao is truly just a cold corpse now. There was the sound of horses. He startled. There are wolves nearby. The wolf attacked the horse accompanying him. He clenched his jaw. How dare you kill my horse? I'll kill you. The wolf turned and ran away in a nearby chaotic place. Protect the young Missy. Save us. There are too many wolves. They are black-backed wolf flock. We are in danger. Run away quickly. Save us. Brothers, fight with them. We are surrounded. So many black-backed wolf flock. What should we do? Everyone, split up and run. Sumu stood on high ground observing. It's wolves, easy to handle. How dare you kill my horse? He rushed forward. What? Explain to me. Why did you bite and kill my only horse? Without a horse, and now I'm lost again. What? I will definitely be late to the Lu Yun Mountains. If I'm late, Tang Chao will definitely be a cold corpse. So I have to kill you all. Everyone looked puzzled. Boss, what should we do? He said, let's observe first. No need to rush. This person, with a skill like a wolf, is too powerful. We are not a match for him. Su Wu brushed his hand. Finally, done venting your anger, huh? This one is so big, and also the wolf king in white. Not dead yet, and quite clean. Maybe you can be my mount. My horse was bit to death by your henchman. It suddenly roared loudly. Growl. He calmly tapped its head. Kneel down. If you don't listen, I will eat you. Do you understand? Everyone was amazed. The hot boy is so strong. The wolf king in his hands can't do anything. A creature approached. Su Wu was surprised. Here is a little fox. Wait, we have the wolf king and a little fox. 
Maybe I have the aura of a beast trainer buff. Right. A white wolf came up behind him, growling. Suwu looked surprised, showing that he didn't understand what was happening. The little fox below him trembling in fear, whimpering. He punched once, causing the wolf to howl in pain, its white eyes biting into its tongue. Suwu said, honestly, what kind of beast is this? Could it be because of this beast that these wolves are here? And also, the little fox trembled all over, its fearful eyes shining. Standing behind Su Wu, he grabbed its head, examining it for a while. He thought to himself, the little fox should be saying ding, ding, ding. Why is it saying um, um, I should check it out. The little fox cried um, um, and he obtained a sacred beast, an S-rank demonic beast, all attributes of S-rank plus five. Suddenly, a group of soldiers appeared, dressed in identical uniforms, pointing their swords at Su Wu wanting the item he had just obtained. They said, quickly drop it, drop it. He was surrounded with soldiers all around and a wolf in front of them. They said, quickly drop that little fox. The soldiers aimed their swords at Su Wu, wondering why he was letting it go. Moreover, why was it running towards a stranger's feet? He hugged the little fox to his chest, standing tall and replying, I helped you kill the wolves just now and this is how you treat someone who saved your lives. The wolf dog growled. Standing behind Su Wu, a girl jumped off the horse, ran straight towards the two soldiers in front. She ran and called out, Xiao Tian. The soldiers thought, this person, even the wolf king can be tamed. What should we do? We can't compete. The other soldier also sweated, thinking, difficult. The sacred beast came down from the horse by itself and ran to the feet of the master. Xiao Bai bowed her head, in front of the eyes of the soldiers, she said, Master, I'm sorry, for this whole journey, we have always been ambushed. It's all because of this little fox, so everyone is tense. The soldier next to him holding a sword thought, find another opportunity. She glared, turned back and shouted, quickly put away your weapons. They hurriedly replied, yes, young miss. Su Wu's face was serious, unable to say a word. She raised her hand, her eyes wide open, sparkling and cute. Xiao Tian, come back quickly. Su Wu gently placed the little fox on the ground. He thought to himself, it really is her little fox, a celestial spirit beast, a level five fox ghost, must be very valuable. As soon as it was placed down, it frantically turned back towards him, whimpering. Xiao Tian, with his sparkling eyes, drooled, his front paws making a begging gesture, whimpering. He presented a skewer of delicious snake in front of it, eyes wide, asking, Are you looking for this? Su Wu said, Little glutton, here you are. He bent down, offering the fragrant grilled snake to it. The fox, upon receiving the food, behaved obediently, and he thought to himself, It's been five years since the last attribute increase. Giving you a snake to eat won't hurt. After finishing the meal, it happily ran back towards Xiao Bai and the guards. She lovingly petted its head, and he silently thought, Indeed, she is her little fox. Grateful for her pet, she hugged the little fox in her arms, bowing respectfully. Thank you, sir. He asked her a meaningful question, one hand leaning on his body, the other gently stroking his pet, the wolf's face showing a fierce grin. So, do you suspect that I want to steal the sacred beast? She spoke and smiled, squinting her eyes as she replied, Going out without being cautious is impossible. This is Xiao Tian, raised by our family since childhood, like one of our own. But still, it is a fifth-grade demonic beast, attracting many people who want to steal it. She said, Is this master traveling alone? The soldier asked in surprise, Young Missy, do you want to invite him to accompany you? The other quickly said, Young Missy, no. In the demonic beast forest, lighting a fire to roast meat, these wolves are mostly attracted by him. He doubted Su Wu thinking. No, with this master on the road, we can't steal the sacred beast. Su Wu stood still in front of the young Missy's invitation. She said, I didn't say before, did he weed them here? Just mention the strength of this master. Just now, if he takes the opportunity to steal Xiao Tian. She then ordered the soldiers. Can you stop them? Everyone retreat. The whole group bewildered, choreased in unison. But, Xiao Jin said, all right, the army outside, follow my lead. She was a little annoyed, still holding Xiao Tian in her arms, 
saying, Where does this expert want to go? If the road is clear, why don't we go together? Su Wu raised her hand, replying, Call me Su Wu, I want to go to the Lu Yun Mountains, it's a good idea. Does anyone have a map? She explained, There is no map, it's useless here. Our army relies on this route to survive. The entire route is memorized, so there is no need for a specific map. She said, Master Su, the person is going in the opposite direction. Su Wu, confused and unable to comprehend, replied in frustration, Ha, huh, going the other way. Even his white dog looked puzzled. Su Wu thought, Tang Xiao must be cold-hearted. She explained, If it's the Lu Yun Mountains, we have to go through Tian Shu Town, which we also have to pass. So why not go together? It will only take two days to get there. You can buy an accurate map of the Lu Yun Mountains there. Su Wu rode her dog, following Xiao Jin's convoy. He replied, All right, thank you then. The soldier behind Xiao Jin asked, Boss, what should we do? He replied, Everyone, try your best. We will rest when the road ahead is clear. Either do nothing or do it to the end. Wait for the next attack target. He ordered, The fire team cooks. We will go for sanitation. A soldier tasting the soup said, Okay. Another one added, The stream water is really sweet today. A curious soldier asked, Do you three have any problems? Eating together, sleeping together, even going for sanitation together. The soldier next to him asked, Did you put medicinal herbs in their water? Is that okay, boss? He explained to the curious soldier, Medicinal herbs are harmless to humans. In fact, they can cool and detoxify with a slightly sweet taste. But this is also something wild beasts love. The soldiers agreed. All right, no problem. Boil another pot of water, fill everyone's water bags. Let's cook rice quickly. We've been busy all day, too hungry. They were cooking a pot of delicious tuna, and Su Wu thought, so everyone who drinks the water will become a target for wild beasts. Hyo Jin handed a water bag to Su Wu and said, Master Su, here is some water. Su Wu waved her hand and replied, No need, thank you. I have brought my own. She said, Xiao Tian, why aren't you drinking? It's cooler now, not hot. Xiao Tian mumbled, but didn't bother to drink a drop. Su Wu thought, Sacred beasts don't like this taste. That's why it's not drinking the medicinal herbs. The three of them arrived at the demonic beast's location, discussing among themselves, so the holy box won't be attacked. With our three force marshal generals at the middle stage, it won't be easy for humans to steal a holy box. As they spoke, they climbed a nearby tall tree to observe. That holy box, worth about 50,000 excellent spirit stones. Ha ha, Jin Chiao Bai even said the holy box is like family to her, refusing to sell it, forcing us to get involved. The leader said, we just want to earn our reward. Yet they're forcing us to use our skills. Hemph. Do they think we're pushovers? Those wild beasts with sharp teeth are all equivalent to martial generals at the middle stage, and that boar king is almost on par with the middle spirit. So, including that self-proclaimed strong one, daring to stop us from getting rich, go die. Below, a group of wild boars detected the scent. Su Wu opened the book to read Fly Over the Grass skill book. He was surprised. Oh, today's luck is not bad. He thought, Fly Over the Grass, body movement skill. Have I activated it? Wait, the ground is shaking. Something is rushing towards us. A herd of green-haired white boars rushed in full force. Someone said, Steel teal boar. Xiao Jin soldiers shouted to each other, Protect the young Missy. Blood avoid. Facing an unimaginable situation, they had to confront a herd of crazed boars charging towards them. They said, They might just be passing through. Let's quickly move aside. Su Wu realized something. The soldiers' desperate cries, save us. The boars did not just pass by as usual, but instead charged in to tear them apart in the peaceful moonlit night, each one bloodthirsty. They attacked the soldiers' hands and feet. One person had their hand torn off, screaming. Ah, no, these wild boars are cannibals. The scene was truly horrifying. Someone said, avenge our brothers. The person next to them shouted, kill. Su Wu went down to the ground drew his sword, and shouted loudly. These wild boars cannot be contained. He and his group rushed into battle, everyone saying, Strike them, strike true. Su Wu said, Kill them. One green-skinned boar was struck by him, 
while the other was torn apart by his pet. The remaining boar was attacked by everyone together. The scene was chaotic. He used a powerful skill to strike. Armor penetration metal cutting. He warned everyone. These wild boars have gone mad. Be careful. The defense of these wild boars may be comparable to a martial general middle stage. A soldier said, Damn it, the defense of these wild boars is too high. We have lost several comrades. A woman worriedly said, Why? Why is this happening? Steel boars eating humans. This is unreasonable. The soldier said, Young miss, run away quickly. If not, we will all die. They exclaimed, Sue, the master, is truly formidable. That sword must be of spiritual key excellent. The White Wolf King is also powerful. Dealing with wild boars is no problem. Su Wu took the filtered water with him to drink, thinking, There are still a few left, but if I continue like this, will the vegetable cutting knife be able to handle it? The forest was in ruins, with a very large boar heading towards them, causing them to suspect. Wait, why is there still such a big one? Is this the steel boar king? Others said, When did it appear? Su Wu warned, The boar king cannot be underestimated. Everyone should be careful. Someone said, Not good. Its eyes turned red. It emitted a fierce red-eyed anger. Ready to slaughter Su Wu and Chiao Jin's soldiers, it was really angry. It rushed forward, knocking down the soldiers in front of it as if they were paper scraps. They flew up into the sky. The soldiers screamed in pain. Ah, save me, completely unable to break the defense. Su Wu thought, Heaven, is it charging towards me? It must not be charging towards me. He drank water, almost choking, his face changing color. Behind him, Xiao Jin said, Master Su, be careful. He said, You go ahead. I will hold them off. The Wolf King also growled, saying, You also avoid this one. You cannot handle it. He waved his hand, signaling everyone to retreat, thinking to himself, I can't save them. Without their guidance, I can't reach the Lu Yun Mountains. Armor penetration metal cutting, a skillful vegetable cutting knife, pierced straight into the head of the wild boar. The sound of the strike, along with the force, created a terrifying shockwave, making the boar scream in pain. Ah ah! He thought, it's done, the vegetable cutting knife is broken. Indeed, outside of Mount Great King, it only has spiritual key excellent quality, such a waste of high intensity, unable to resist. He trembled, the knife flew out. The Boar King's defense can definitely reach the Martial King middle stage. He thought, ah, it only lost a troublesome tooth. The bleeding boar, missing a tusk, still charged forward. He said, everyone go ahead on the road, leave a mark for me. She said, hmm, be careful, Master Sue. She added, but why are these wild boars targeting us without letting go? If this issue is not resolved, we will eventually fall into danger. The leader said, with a dangerous look in his eyes. It's because you all have consumed medicinal herbs. After saying that, he grabbed young Missy by the neck. A little fox jumped off her. The three of them killed all of her soldiers. He threatened. Don't move. She wondered. Why you guys? I understand now. It's you who put medicinal herbs in the water. Why would you do that? The soldiers threatened them. Release young Missy. You three traitors. He held a knife to young Missy's throat threatening and explaining. Because young Missy refused to sell the holy box. If she had, our three brothers would have earned money. Everyone would have been safe and sound. But she blocked our path to wealth, so don't blame us for being ruthless. He wondered, ah, where is the holy box? Her soldiers fell, facing them. At that moment, Sumu was fighting with a giant boar. The holy box ran out in front of them, shouting, her body trembling. He was resisting the attack of the Boar King. It snorted, pushing Su Wu back, the soldiers discussing. Oh my! This person's strength is so huge, they can stand up against the Boar King. He said, Why did the Holy Box run to such a dangerous place? Isn't the Holy Box supposed to avoid harm, seek benefits, and search for treasures? Has it become worthless now? He resisted the power of the Boar, grabbing its tusks and pushing with all his might. He thought to himself, Luckily, I have gained more strength. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. The holy box cried out for help. He thought, touching the head for five seconds can absorb. But now, I can't touch the head. Ha ha.
We've been staring at each other for 20 seconds. How long has it been now? He thought, come on, whoever moves their eyes first loses. He clenched his jaw and exerted himself. Nine seconds countdown. Eight seconds. She shouted loudly. Master Su, you go by yourself. Take Xiao Tan with you. The three of them are all Marshal General High Level. Plus the wild boars. We can't escape. He thought seven seconds countdown. Six seconds left. He thrust his sword into the young Missy's stomach. Shut up, you wretch. If you say another word, I'll do it now. She let out a muffled cry, trembling. He thought, five seconds left, then four seconds. He said, do you think he can escape? Haha, -ha. how long can he hold out? That's the Steel Boar King. Both attack and defense are Marshal King Mill stage. How can he withstand that? He said triumphantly, grabbing her hair and pulling her up to witness. The young Missy spat out blood, trembling and pleading with her eyes. She thought, Master Su and Chao Tan are not drinking the water here. Only they have a chance to escape. Pity for those in army, sorry. He thought, two seconds left. Go, ha ha. The opportunity to upgrade is right at the door. There is even someone guiding to the door. How can I go alone? Su Wu's eyes lit up, teeth clenched in excitement. One second left. The system announced. Successfully captured demonic beast, the Boar King level 7. Attribute bonus, plus 7. Reached the upgrade condition. Do you want to upgrade now? He said, upgrade now. Sumu's whole body escaped. A strong gust of wind blew his cloak behind. Thunder roared in the sky, illuminating the space. The Martial King early stage pushed back the huge force. Someone said, wow, can make a breakthrough to Martial King. Isn't he afraid of ascendant happening? The leader said, but the Boar King is equivalent to Martial King middle stage. Your weapon is cracked again. Do you want to kill the Boar King with your bare hands? The person next to him said, Don't talk much to them. You guys take the holy box. We release young Missy, or else. Everyone will die here. The third person laughed loudly. Ha ha. What a joke. A mysterious master said, Understood. You guys are rebels, so it's easy to deal with. The leader worriedly asked, Who is talking? Before Wind swore a dance could say anything else. A sword swiftly cut through the neck of the three traitors. They were suspicious, but it was too late. Blood splattered everywhere. The master only needed one swift sword strike. The mysterious person said, Traitors must all die. Xiao Jin, his eyes almost closing, watched the fierce battle. It's so cold. Did that person really fight the Boar King barehanded? Why am I thinking about that now? System said, The boxing skill book after reaching the level of Martial King, can unleash an attack power 1.5 times greater, without the need for power storage time, directly breaking the base defense value of the same level. The Blue Boxing Skillbook, Su Wu continuously used palm techniques on the wild boar, rendering it unable to retaliate. The earth-shattering skill pushed the wild boar back. His eyes turned red, splitting himself into multiple avatars, comparing the ratio of possible power storage, attack power, and storage time, the highest is three times. In three levels, base defense is still nothing. The fake fighting styles, a powerful strike causing the Boar King to receive tremendous damage. Boom! The wild boar's face deformed, blood spurted from its body, being pushed far away. Someone thought, heavens, if it's this powerful, you shouldn't have said so earlier. If you had told us sooner, we wouldn't have attacked now. The eyes of someone about to close saw Su Wu punch the wild boar down. He continued. You should have said it earlier. You lied to us. Eyes closed, he thought. Martial King level. This power is truly formidable. I feel like I can kill an ox now. He looked at the fist that was emitting thick smoke, smirked and thought to himself. Wait, is this example a bit too low? I just killed the boar king. He glanced at the mysterious master who had just passed by, thinking silently. Did this person help out? The mysterious master thought to himself. The bare fists of the man in the red robe. Pure strength. Able to withstand this skill. Impressive. Chiu Jin respectfully bowed to his savior. Thank you so much, noble master. He nodded and sheathed his sword. While the young Missy pondered. What day is it today? Encountering two masters at once. Three bandits. And now a boar and a wolf. Suddenly, a group of soldiers appeared from nowhere angrily asking. Where did the thief run off to? The mysterious master was taken aback, 
adjusted his hat, and replied, Hemph, we'll chase after him closely. He quickly ran off, in front of Jin Chiao Bai's army. The people behind him shouted loudly, despicable, still daring to run away. The three of them swiftly chased after him. The three masked men in red and white masks said, a torch burning our Dongju district. Not killing you. It's hard to resolve this grudge. He was amazed at the thought. That mask, blood scent of the sea flying over the grass is just perfect. Can be used. He warned and gathered energy in his legs, preparing to fly towards them. Everyone, move forward. He said, leave marks along the way. Let's go check it out. Sumu flew towards the blood scent of the sea in front of Chiyo Jin's eyes. The soldier said, Young Missy, the energy of those people just now are all martial kings. The soldier next to him said, Too dangerous. Let's go ahead. Don't interfere in their affairs. They are all elders. Can't be provoked. She said, All right, all right. Let's go ahead. Xiao Tan, come over here quickly. The little fox whimpered, turned back to her owner. The soldier shouted, Quickly chase after the horses that have run away. The other soldier said, All right. Su Wu's white dog barked. Woof! Explaining the wolf's howl. It seems that person's speed is even faster than mine. Forget about me, or should I run away? He said, System, just tell me the basic situation of each realm level. I only rely on accumulating points to upgrade. With this cultivation matter, I don't feel anything. The system announced, Martial arts endure. Tendons and bones begin to feel the presence of spiritual key clearly. Su Wu image running away from experts, he thinks, just like the trainees in some boxing clubs. System notification. Martial artist officially enters the path of cultivation can display simple skills, while using spiritual power to nurture oneself, strengthen muscle density and blood vessel intensity. All types of defense, physical speed are comprehensively enhanced. Description of a strong man standing covered in blood, he thinks. External martial arts training for years, combined with internal strength method, at least has to be the champion of martial arts competitions. System presents an image of a martial official holding a bowl explaining. Master can simply use spiritual key combined with skills, using assault force will be increased. He says, this is the type with true Tai internal power in Kung Fu movies. He then flies away, System explains. Martial General mainly releases spiritual ki outward, while displaying simple techniques. Skills release spiritual kai energy outward. Image of a man using a technique activating spiritual ki, he says. This is interesting, equivalent to being able to emit impact waves. He continued enthusiastically. There are tactics for long-range attacks. The system explained. The Martial King easily controls spiritual kai. Accumulating spiritual key forms energy and defense skills. They can also sense all the elements in the world. Absorb elemental attributes to enhance martial techniques. Su Wu replied, Enhancing techniques is not useful for someone like me who focuses on leveling up. My martial techniques need to wait for rewards, at most a slight change. The image of throwing skills like in Seven Dragon Balls, the system said, The martial religion, the bearer has not yet encountered. Wait until they meet. The system will automatically scan and collect. Su Mu was surprised. The time has come. The masked man chasing after them was also exhausted. He said, Xiao Ying Han, run. You run. Damn it, we've been running for four hours. Are you so skilled with the wind attribute? Otherwise, why haven't we surrounded you yet? The other person drew his sword and threatened. Killing people of blood scent of the sea. I still want to run. Do you think too highly of yourself? Two people stood in front of Xiao Ying Han. He sighed. The wind swordsman Xiao Ying Han. Everyone from blood scent of the sea deserves to die. He drew his sword defensively, cursed himself. Annoying. If it weren't for the unfamiliar path, they wouldn't have surrounded me with so many people. Su Wu hid behind a tree, pondering. Indeed, blood scent of the sea. Just happened to encounter them here. Could they be the subordinates of Shan Lang Wang Zi? No, didn't I go the opposite way? Too many people. Let's see if this guy can handle it. If not, I'll take action later. But his name, Xiao Ying Han, is quite interesting. Blood scent of the sea gathered skills in his right arm threateningly. Xiao Ying Han, talk so much. Take one of my skills. Su Wu thought. Mud and rock swirling together. Firm feeling. Is this adding to the soil attribute? 
Looking at this appearance, the blood scent of the C group are martial kings. Just not sure if they have consumed Hellflower to reach martial king level. Stonehenge formation a fist-sized boulder flew towards the Chow family, Su Wu observed. Is he the martial king himself, or has he not eaten the Hellflower? Wind sword blitz, a strike straight at the fist of the red-masked figure. Xiao Ying Han wielded his sword with great skill, he reasoned. Fast, agile and elegant, he's just like wind. With just one sword strike, the hand of the red-masked figure was severed, he was in complete panic. Ah, my hand! My hand! Well done, you! An early-stage martial king can make a group of our martial king brothers passive. It seems that I have to use a stronger approach. He then reached into his robe, the handless man trembled, shouting, My hand! Damn it! I will kill you! He pulled out a yellow flower, with red accents and a black core. Hell flower! Su Wu assessed the situation. They have not eaten the hell flower, yet they are already martial kings. Xiao Ying Han was extremely worried, Su Wu said anxiously. Indeed, each person has their own flower. It is the organization's standard. Blood scent of the sea are all martial king early stage. If they eat the hell flower, it will be troublesome. We must stop them. Xiao Ying Han worried. My skill has been broken. Xiao Ying Han found himself in a difficult situation. What is this? Am I bound? Is this a formation? Su Wu stood aside and exclaimed, Impressive. Blood scent of the sea is truly terrifying. He couldn't help but praise further. This is a joint formation, dividing the attack power evenly. Quite interesting. The blood scent of the sea group gained the upper hand, unable to contain their excitement and laughing, while Xiao Ying Han felt extremely anxious. What kind of formation is this? Is there also Hellflower? Can it reach Martial King early stage? You are all Martial Kings. Isn't it a waste to eat too? The opponent cheerfully said, If you sincerely ask, I will kindly tell you. He thought, This dialogue is indeed familiar. Then he continued, This is called Stone Destruction Formation, requiring six Martial Kings to combine and display. It can trap Martial King middle stage. If you have not reached Martial King middle stage, you cannot break this formation. Your attacks will be divided by six people, and you cannot break out of this formation. Xiao Ying Han cursed silently. Damn it! I can't avoid it. I made a mistake. The other person continued. Honestly, it's possible to avoid this trick from the six of us. You really have some skills. And Hellflower. It has always been used to help people advance to Martial King early stage. He continued cheerfully. But it can instantly restore our physical strength and spiritual key to peak levels. It also has a fierce and painless effect. The teammates couldn't wait any longer and urged, Kill! 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 Sumu witnessed this scene and commented, Wow! It can help someone at Marshall King early stage recover in an instant. If there are no side effects, this hell flower is even more powerful than my spiritual line level 3. The blood scent of the C group was ready to attack. So today, you're definitely going to die. As soon as they finished speaking, all six of them launched a fierce and powerful attack. Sumu thought to himself, this is like torturing someone to death. The six of them in their peak state, combined with their frenzy and the depletion of the other person's spiritual ku and physical strength, probably won't last long. He hesitated. What should I do? Should I roar in anger or draw my sword to assist? After all, he has helped me before. The opponent is not ordinary either. He thought further. But the six Martial King early stage can split attacks at their peak. I can't break through their defense either. My vegetable cutting knife is broken. Although there is another knife in the bag system, when I drew it before, the six people. Suddenly he remembered something. Wait, splitting attacks, can't break defense. I have defense breaking skills. And with the broken vegetable cutting knife and sacred flame soul, there might be a chance. It's you. He aimed at the other person whose hand was injured then swiftly attacked with the vegetable cutting knife combined with sacred flame soul, using the sewing skills, a direct hit. Indeed, our Su Wu, once touched by the sacred flame soul, will stiffen for a very short time. Unfortunately, the distance was too far, and the vegetable cutting knife couldn't carry many flames. Xiao Ying Han's face was full of surprise. The formation is broken. His strength had decreased significantly. Xiao Ying Han thought, Oh, so close. But now, I'm tied up. No, 
My body can't take much more. The blood scent of the C group angrily shouted. Who is attacking sneakily, lacking in morals? Like this. Su Wu hid behind a tree and couldn't help but laugh. Ha ha, accusing blood scent of the sea of lacking morals. Wait until you destroy all the hell flowers. He continued to think. This won't work. Normal ingredients can't be used with sacred flame soul to sneak attack again. Should I throw in a vegetable cutting knife? No words. He smirked and said, there's only one way. In a flash, Su Wu rushed into the formation. It turned out he used the fly over the grass method using fake fighting styles to hit the one-armed man with painful blows. He was miserable, and even more so. Why me? The group quickly went on the defensive. It's him. Get him quickly. Su Wu used the skill fly over the grass, quickly jumping to avoid an attack. Too dangerous. Come here. Come here. He happily ran away. Can't beat me. Do you have any tricks? I'm that strong, haha. The blood scent of the sea gang couldn't do anything, just cursing coward. He was furious, trembling with anger. Wait a moment, I'll chop that coward to death. What? Where did he come from? Did he throw that torn sword earlier? Also, what is he doing? To disturb my mind. Xiao Ying Han seized the opportunity. The chance has come. He quickly used the wind sword blitz skill to resist but failed. He didn't understand why. Since when did that light surround me? The satisfied gang said, told you so. He continued, Stone Slayer Fire Battle can divide attacks. You haven't reached Marshall King middle stage, so you can't break through. He arrogantly said, If you want to die so badly, I will deal with you first. While saying this, he had a bit of worry in his heart. He said that only Marshall King middle stage can't break through. But how did that cowardly guy break through the defense twice? Xiao Ying Han found himself in a very difficult situation. He wanted to take a risk, but he made a mistake. But with his current condition, he couldn't run far either. He helplessly knelt down. Do I really have to die here? Suddenly, a person named Blood Scent of the Sea coughed up blood, staggering and unable to stand steadily. The other person angrily shouted, Damn it, what's wrong now? He replied, Bleeding too much, can't hold on. Slightly lacking blood, I'll join the battle immediately. This person also didn't know what to do anymore. Eating hellflower feels very painful and slow. Enduring two skills, I'm really helpless. Both Su Wu and Xiao Ying Han recognized the opportunity. This is the moment. Su Wu rushed in from somewhere. The fake fighting styles. At the same time, Ying Han also used the skill. Wind Sword Blitz Attack. The name still asked with a sneer. Why is it still me? His body couldn't bear it and spurted out a lot of blood. The crowd gathered together couldn't help but panic. The formation is broken. I'm afraid we can't control those two. What should we do? Also, how could he break the formation? Why? Their minds were full of questions at this moment. Who is this person after all? A strange bare fists that can break the defense formation. When did Dongju District have such a powerful character? Sumu asked, can you still hold on, brother? Xiao Ying Han gasped and said, dealing with blood scent of the sea. Even if you can't hold on, you have to try. Then he shouted, Well said. Let's go. While he's injured, let's take his life. He did not answer. Instead, using the wind sword blitz skill, slashing the remaining enemies. It seems he is not yet exhausted. Sumu led a hand, attacking continuously. While fighting, he shouted, Hey ya, hey ya. Feeling refreshed, after just a few strikes, the group scattered. His fire flame temporarily stiffened me. How can he break the formation with this fire flame? Furthermore, my soul feels painful. Suddenly, he exclaimed, This is the sacred flame soul, capable of burning sacred beasts. It belongs to the ten great sacred flames, so it was stiff for a moment, enough to break the formation. His words sparked an idea in him. Stiff for a moment, I suddenly thought of a bare fist attack. Immediately, he launched an attack, catching him off guard. Surely, countless questions raced through his mind. Just a second ago, he was standing there, and now he was swiftly attacking the group with bare fists, relentlessly. A punch from Su Wu was enough to scatter them. Blood flowed like a river from their faces. This attack doesn't seem very successful. It's dangerous. Can't connect back. I thought the final skill of the fake fighting styles would work directly. No way out. Even though I haven't practiced, I can only show a little. 
he thought. Moreover, many sacred flame souls couldn't keep up just now, so they couldn't connect to the next skill. A blood send of the sea tried to ask, Who are you after all? What skill is this? He didn't answer immediately but took a step back, on guard. Then he said, Wing Chun, Yip Man, this style is really impressive. Su Wu moved forward, fiercely attacking Blood Send of the Sea. A few seconds later, he suddenly realized, Whoops, I showed too much carelessness. But this guy is also good at fighting. The masked figure of Blood Send of the Sea on this side also trembled like a scared rabbit. Yip Man, I've never heard of this Wing Chun with bare fists. Can't fight back, all the subordinates were killed by them. We'll die, have to run. He embraced his wound and ran as if flying to escape. Suddenly, Su Wu saw a bright light emanating from Xiao Ying Han fly over the grass, feeling like many swords are pointing at you. This is sword intent. Xiao Ying Han decisively wielded his sword, pointing it forward and shouted, Wind Sword. In an instant, the sword flew towards the figure of blood scent of the sea. The face of this brother also revealed a sinister look, laughing scornfully. Like it, the sword rushed at the speed of light, sweeping away all the leaves in the forest. It pierced through the masked figure of blood scent of the sea. His eyes widened, treblingly saying, Xiao Ying Han's wind sword, a famous skill. Su Mu stood nearby observing, all feeling horrified. The shorter the name, the stronger the skill. This old man really doesn't underestimate himself. Truly a sniper, plus the effective wind attribute slashing. Suddenly, Xiao Ying Han was bleeding, this brother lying motionless on the ground, leaving Su Wu extremely confused. Hey, Xiao, are you okay? He tried to answer. It's okay, just tired and need to rest for a bit. I'll drink some elixir to recover a bit. This is just the first hunting group. We still have to run later. Seeing him sit up normally, Su Wu thought to herself, Is it necessary? Why does everyone like it? After exerting to the extreme, they all spurt blood like that. Then, Su Wu took a bottle of spiritual lime water and gave it to Ying Han, saying, All right, use mine. Ying Han, seeing the bottle of water, looked surprised. Spiritual lime, spiritual lime Mount Great King is still level two. Su Wu, hearing this, smiled happily. Know your stuff. Xiao Ying Han looked at the bottle of water and recounted, before, a friend gave me a few bottles of spiritual line level 1. It's much better than elixir, very effective, and not available on the market, so I'm not being polite. As soon as he finished speaking, he started drinking, and after hearing the story earlier, Su Wu also wondered to herself, how many did his friend give him? Are this guy and his friend both acquaintances of Mount Great King? The guy saw brother drinking water without hesitation, so he asked curiously, aren't you afraid of being poisoned? How can you easily trust people like that? Ying Han smiled and replied, If you wanted to harm me, you wouldn't have risked saving me just now. Su Wu responded, Oh, that makes sense. I have nothing to argue against. If you have a grudge against Blood Scent of the Sea, destroy their base in Dongju District. Ying Han said, Yes, Blood Scent of the Sea used Hell Flower to harm my eldest brother. I won't let them get away with it. Feeling like he had brought up a sad memory for brother, Su Wu quickly apologized. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Ying Han didn't mind, just smiled and continued. It's okay, my eldest brother is not dead, but he has become something neither human nor ghost. While we were holding him captive, he hoped he could detox from the hell flower. Upon hearing this, Su Wu immediately thought, that must be very difficult to detox from. Brother then cheerfully recounted his recent achievement. After that, he escaped, so this time I went out to find him. Passing by Dongju District, I found the base of Blood Scent of the Sea and conveniently destroyed it. Oh, and conveniently killed a few of them too. While listening to him, Su Wu gave him a thumbs up. Brother Xiao, you're skilled. Taking on a group of martial kings like that. Are you a tiger? Can you analyze the strategy before acting? Xiao Ying Han waved his hand. No. No, Brother Yi is also very skilled. Using bare fists, Wing Chun combined with Sacred Flame Soul, he defeated the leader effortlessly. The man smiled awkwardly after hearing this. Actually, I'm not yet man. Brother Yi is just an outstanding martial arts master in our village. He uses a style called Wing Chun. I only know a little bit, just showing off a bit. My name is Su Wu. 
Xiao Ying Han quickly greeted him. Nice to meet you, Su, but impersonating a martial arts master is not a good idea. Su Wu also politely greeted back. Nice to meet you too. I just learned a few phrases from him. Nothing else. Thank you for the reminder. Su Wu realized. People in this world take martial arts and martial arts statements very seriously. This brother kept thinking. Yi Master, why have I never heard of martial religion before? Su Wu thought. The intention of this brother is very impressive, if everything goes smoothly. While walking, he asked about Xiao Ying Han's plan. So what's your next journey, Xiao? Ying Han replied, I have to go to the west of Dongju district. There are rumors that my eldest brother appeared there. I have to go and see. And what about you, Su? Taking a deep breath, Su replied, I have to go to the Lu Yun Mountains, also to save a senior brother. Our paths do not align. Xiao Ying Han secretly glanced at Su Wu, thinking to himself, Although he seems a bit careless and lacks martial virtue, his character is good. Seeing Xiao raise his hand to the sky, Su Wu wondered, What's this? Making an oath. Brother smiled and said, All right, if everyone has their own tasks, let's not talk much more. Thank you, Su, for helping out. I hope next time we meet, we can have a chance to compete with each other. Hearing about a competition, Su Wu worried. Do we need to make a serious oath for a fight? Finally, the two men shook hands. Su Wu also accepted the challenge. All right, all right. Ying Han smiled and said, Okay, refreshing. Su Wu thought to himself, Is it necessary to enjoy fighting? Fighting with bare fists against my brother's sword intent? I won't do it. I'll wait until I have the right weapons. At this moment, the two went their separate ways. The mountains remained unchanged. The rivers flowed endlessly. We will meet again in the martial world. After walking a few steps, the young man stopped and asked, By the way, what is your older brother's name? If I meet him, I can easily take care of him. Xiao Ying Han hesitated and thought, Should I tell him my older brother's name? Trust him one last time. Xiao decided to reveal, My older brother's name is Yang Bufan. They bid farewell to each other for the last time. Su Wu encouraged, Keep going, you will definitely find your brother. Xiao replied, Taking your words, I also wish you success in finding yours. While walking, Su Wu was reflecting on the name of his eldest brother, Yang Bu Fan. This name sounds familiar. I've heard it somewhere before. Xiao Ying Han also remembered something. Su Wu, this name is too familiar. Moreover, he has never heard the name of his eldest brother before. No reaction at all. This person is quite interesting. Su Wu returned to where everyone was gathering. The soldiers shouted loudly, Su Expert, you're back. Everything is fine now. Everything is fine. Jin Xiao Bai, the young Missy, with a worried face asked, Su Expert, is brother injured? The Martial King, smiling, replied, Everything has been resolved. Just a group of blood scent of the sea. Nothing to be afraid of. The soldiers chuckled at that. Ah, the evil organization Blood Scent of the Sea. Su Expert is really formidable. One of them reported the situation. Su Expert, that wolf has escaped. We couldn't stop it. He said, it's okay. After all, a wild wolf can't enter town. Besides, a wolf's abilities are not as good as a horse. By then, we'll have to find another horse. The other person said, How can we let you buy it, Master Su? We have already prepared it for you. After that, they also treated him to a delicious meal, saying, This is already roasted. Please enjoy it, Master Su. Excitedly, the young man said, Premium wild boar meat, with fortune to eat. The young miss expressed her gratitude to him, saying, for the favor of this time, thank you, Master Su, we can only avoid this because of you. Su Wu laughed and said, ha ha, it's all small matters. Seeing injustice, draw the sword to assist. The young miss asked again, but where did the master use that sword? I also want to thank him. A soldier also asked, where did the master use that sword? Su Wu answered while chewing, oh, his name is Chao Ying Han went to find his boss. Not in agreement with us. Them, it's delicious. Too hot. Hearing the name Xiao Ying Han, everyone was shocked. Xiao Ying Han, the wind sword master Xiao Ying Han. Su Wu wondered, Mem, do those bandits also call him that? Young Missy was amazed. So it's him. He is a talent in the Martial King group, the young one of the empire. 
a soldier added. He possesses the wind sword attribute. Furthermore, he also comprehends sword intent. Su Wu asked, such a great reputation. They replied, compared to his big brother, his reputation is still small. His sworn brother is Yang Bufan, the second prince of the empire. But it is said that he was poisoned and went crazy. Recently, he was rumored to have run away. Upon hearing this, Su Wu exclaimed, Heavens! I knew it! Why does that name sound so familiar? Yang Bu Fan is the second prince, the elder brother of County Princess. Xiao Ying Han is his younger brother. I remember giving spiritual lines to some acquaintances in Dongju County. Analyzing this, his friend must be County Princess. No wonder when mentioning Yang Bu Fan's name, he had to think twice. The second prince of the empire consuming Hellflower, regardless of the reason, is still a bad thing. Third princess Yang Ji Yun, second prince Yang Bu Fan, I have to think about it sooner or later. Su Wu thought, he can become a great ally. Why did I let him go? What a mistake, what a mistake. Misunderstood by Nalin Yun Yan, letting Xiao Hu Hu run away was bad enough. Now a formidable member of the Chao clan has come, and he is a friend of county princess the younger brother sworn brother of the second prince. I missed out on the opportunity. Is my luck really that bad? But I vividly remember the lucky circle of Xiao Hu Hu. How can the Xiaos be so talented? They are all outstanding. On the other hand, Xiao Ying Han suddenly remembered. Su Mu, this spiritual line is produced by Mount Great King. Wait, isn't the esteemed mountain leader named Su Wu? Oh, I thought he could have already taken out a good bottle. I was too shy to ask for more. Oh. He is indeed the esteemed mountain leader Su Wu. This spiritual line is even more valuable than the elixir from before. It's not convenient to ask. If I had known earlier, he had already bought some. What a mistake. It's difficult to find the rightful owner. And not recognizing him. What a big mistake. Both have missed each other. Now they both can only sigh. Sigh. The fate of life is truly unpredictable. The next day, in Tian Shu town, Xiao Bai had to bid farewell. Su Overlord, in the inn in town sells army maps. We still have to deliver the goods. Say goodbye here. Su Wu showed courtesy. Okay, thank you. You have given us horses. Safe travels until we meet again. Just as they arrived at the entrance of the restaurant, Su Wu shouted loudly, Service, give me a map to Lu Yun Mountains with the most detailed classification. Give us some high-quality wine and meat and some food reserves. The server inside responded loudly, All right, please come in, it's coming right up. The table was set up nicely. Su Wu focused on the map. What, this is what you call a map? What did Gun Yan draw? I'll check out suitable locations for tomorrow's attire. Below, something was happening so lively that he had to curiously look. Chen Chao, you've lost. Stop, you have won. You can't attack anymore. He realized. Here's an arena behind the restaurant. On the stage was a western-looking figure. A brash young man grabbed Chen Chou's collar and said, Can't attack, huh? The lion catches the rabbit. Use all your strength. Isn't this an eastern saying? If he can still breathe, of course I can't let go. Chen Chou trembled and said, Stop fighting. I admit defeat. The spectators also showed disapproval. Do you want to kill him? He has already admitted defeat. Why do you still not stop? Do you have no ethics? The brash young man earlier was a student from the Zhongju Academy, an exchange student from the West. He frowned and said, Ethics? Oh, no, no, no. This is the way Dongju speaks. I do not agree with the way Sai Zhao speaks. He lost the match. He is my prey. I can handle it however I want, unless he pays the price. Uses excellent spirit stone, equivalent to the value on his body as ransom. Then I will spare him. The loser can ransom themselves back. This is our Tati Zhao tradition. Chen Chao was pushed to a dead end and said, No money, but a life. The man sneered, So you're poor. Then I won't show mercy. With that, he punched Chen Chao hard in the stomach. Chen Chao's eyes widened, blood oozing out as he trembled, saying, You removed my energy core. After the punch, Chen Chao fell to his knees. The man chuckled, Energy core removed. I was just sparring and you've lost your energy core. Su Wu watched it all, thinking, so cruel. Onlookers worried. Chen Chao is in trouble. He might not even have a meal to eat. This is too much, too tragic. 
This person from Kaksai Zhao is too ruthless. Do they really see our Dongzhou as a place without people? Lucky's arrogance reached its peak. Anyone who is not satisfied can challenge him. Chen Xiao could only sit and say, Removed, remove the energy core. I've removed the energy core. I'll kill you. He shouted with all of his remaining strength, only to be kicked by Lucky immediately, falling to the ground. He showed disdain, saying, Even if you sneak attack, you must have the ability. It seems that the people of Dongju are all weak, unable to fight anyone. Everyone felt unjust. Wow, so arrogant. Insulting Chen Chao is just out of anger. Not because he sneak attacked the Yui Headmaster. You go kill him with his momentum. Chen Chao is a martial general high level. When he says remove, it means remove. This person's true strength is unfathomable. Lai Wenfei ran to check on him. Lai Qi showed boredom and left. No one dares to challenge, so I'll leave. Hemp, not interesting, just a bunch of trash. Lai Wenfei angrily said, Hey, how can you remove someone from our town like that? Someone stepped in to stop him. Kid, don't act recklessly. His power is very strong. 